Here we can see the second layer of visualizations of the EAR platform. At the top of the screen, the user can see how many hospitals are connected, general security statistics, like the average number of critical events identified and the most frequent security risk level. At the Global Insights area, starting from the left side, the top vulnerabilities by severity are presented, and this info is based on the vulnerability assessment metadata, which is produced by the AIR clients. For example, the following vulnerabilities have been identified and for each one, the user can find out more by clicking the MITRE button. Then, he is redirected to the CVE page for this specific vulnerability for further insights. A detailed description and additional references are available. Also, the Details button triggers the National Vulnerability Database of NIEST with additional details and recommendation actions. Going back to the Observatory dashboard, at the right side, there is the Global Rama score that represents the overall cybersecurity status of the healthcare domain. The base score is the aggregation of the air exploit tester, the cryptographic checker, and the vulnerability assessment module results. The temporal score is based on the network module for the real-time monitoring of the network security status. Next, the evolution of the Rama score is presented in a timeline. For each timestamp, both Rama, temporal, and base scores are presented, and it is easy for the end user to identify a drop in the base score that also had affected the global Rama score. There are also zoom-in capabilities in case the user wants to focus on a specific time window. There are also options to download the corresponding data as an image or CSV file. Next, there are additional cybersecurity statistics that have been identified by the AIR clients modules. There is aggregated info about the number of malicious findings, the detected operating system vulnerabilities and misconfigurations, the summary of the attacks and the exploits found, the identified heart bleeds and application level vulnerabilities. Finally, there are statistics about the connected hospitals. The data presented here are anonymous in order not to reveal the identity of each specific hospital that is monitored. 